Okay, love. So you're like, Eve, very well for you to be have set up your little tiny house at your mom's <laughs> when some of us don't have family or our family doesn't have land or, or they, they're renting and, and we can't be there. And, you know, like, what are you going to do to find your land for your tiny house? Right? That's the first question. Out of nothing, out of nowhere, without a dime in your pocket, you're going to manifest this tiny house. And you're going to work along the way for the things that do cost a little bit. You'll do exchanges. Maybe somebody has a truck and they can haul the thing for you. And you're going to stack their wood for them. Okay? Everything's the law of exchange. And you have something to exchange. You do. You have your time, your energy, your talents, and maybe even a little cash. Okay. So good. So to find the location for your tiny home, we want to think about you, your life that you want to live. What is important to you now? Do you need to be in a city? Do you need to be in the country? Do you need to be with family? Do you need to be near a certain school? So locate First, get in your mind the location, the type of location that would serve your soul dharma at this time. Once you have that. Now, we have nowadays a, an amazing um, platform to make requests upon, and that is Facebook. If you don't even have a Facebook page, other people can post for you. I once, in the days before there was Facebook, I put up a sign. I drew a picture of a beautiful little place in the forest and um, with little deers dancing around it. And uh, I drew my heavenly little abode and I said, we'll uh, do um, renovations in exchange for free rent for a year. <laughs> and everybody thought I was crazy to put up that sign but it only took two weeks darling for an older lady to call me who that's that was just her dream come true and I renovated her chicken coop I made it a wonderful place for me to be for years and then we negotiated a, a, a rental that was good for for us both and when I left she doubled that rent <laughs> so it was just a total win-win so you can put out a little ad or even put up signs that say have tiny home before you even have it <laughs> have tiny home and wish to exchange um energies <laughs> services for a place to be in my tiny home and you can list the things that you will exchange whether it's child care or if it's cooking or if it's yard work or um carpentry or and, and you're going to make it it's not going to be a lot of time and effort because remember all you're doing is you're coming with a home already made you're bringing a gift to community and your you being there it needs to be a gift too so you're going to put in your ad uh, looking for people who love community and who want to have extended family and friends helping them out with their farm or their city home, wherever it is you want to be, you, you write the picture, okay? <laughs> and there you go. You're going to be receiving calls. You're going to be telling people what you're looking for, what you're offering, and very soon you'll have your location. Once you have your location, darling, now the tiny home will manifest. The, the free tiny home, or if you do have a little money, good for you, because within from like $3,000 to $12,000, you can get some of these um, tiny trailers, tiny or pretty big, actually, mobile homes, um, renovated buses that are absolutely gorgeous in perfect shape and will last you years and years and years if you do have a little money. But if you don't, you can go ahead with the ones that are free and be, and plan to do some fixing up, okay? Now, you're worried. Oh my God, what if I can't fix it up? What if it doesn't work? What if it's a junk heap in the end? Well, there's always that possibility, but th somebody will always take it for scrap metal. <laughs> Fire departments love to have things that they can burn down. <laughs> so don't worry about h how you'll get rid of it. That That's okay. <laughs> It'll happen. But l more likely than not is you can resurrect something you can take care of something 
and for at least the amount of years it'll take you to get to the next level of whatever your dream is, you will um, have manifested something that will take you there. And that's all you need, okay? Let your dream keep evolving. And let's just start with a little home that allows your juices to fill up, your container of water to fill up with self-care and creative development and learning and studying and all the things that are robbed from you when all your money goes to rent. And renters out there, landlords, consider this, okay?